day in the life of Raw Still. This is Boomer. And that's Smitty. There's Boomer. There's Smitty. Hi, Boomer. Hello, Boomer. Boomer is my most talkative cat. He follows me everywhere and lays with me all the time. Hi, Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Hi, Boomer. This is the most talkative cat I've ever seen in my life. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Hi, Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. And there's Smitty. Hey, Smitty kittens. Smitty kitten. Come here, Smitty kittens. Hi, Boomer. Hello. You need to be brushed, don't you? Huh? You need to be brushed, huh? You need to be brushed. Yes. You need to be brushed. He loves his paws massaged. He's not gonna let me do that right now. There's my ball pit I built. When I was a kid, I uh, used to be dejected because Chuck E. Cheese would and was it Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, I think it was Chuck E. Cheese. It was Chuck E. Cheese. I think I think there was one other pizza parlor that had a ball pit. Uh, but um, back in the 80s, uh, it cost to get in those things, and you had a time limit. And a lot of kids would get in there and stuff. So I decided <clears throat> to build my own ball pit in my backyard. And it's really nice have it covered stays clean and you can you know there's no diapers or nothing in here I need to I need to stain it stain the outside again but yeah it's pretty good Kids love this stuff. So yeah, I have my own personal ball pit. I'm 6'1", and uh, I'm sitting down right now, not quite all the way to the bottom. And it's uh, up to my nose. For kids, it's, uh, it's great. 
I think I bought like uh, 18,000 of these balls. I had to I had to keep ordering them from Amazon. I ordered like 18,000 of them. And I just <clears throat> keep the debris out of it, keep it covered. Second year with it, it's all clean. Hi, Boomer. Hi, Smithy Kittens. Show you a little something funny. Don't worry, she'll be all right. Hi, Smithy Kittens. not water it's just the balls it's a ball pit a ball pit for cats we've done this numerous times before with her she's not scared so I don't I wouldn't say they absolutely love it hi boomer hi baby oh he knows what I'm <laughs> He knows what I'm about to do. Hi, Boomer. Boomer. This is an evening with Raw Still. Typical evening with Raw Still. There's my Intex Jacuzzi. I've done a lot of property management in my life and maintenance and repairing I can repair just about anything maybe not aircraft I haven't really worked my way in the aircraft yet but uh, so taking care of a pool is something that was always second nature to me I've had this for about five years now it works fantastic it's sturdy you can sit on this if I, uh, when it gets hot, the air expands and it makes it really, really firm. Um, and you can sit on it like the like a regular pool, and it'll be completely sturdy. It doesn't sink in like what you would think, and it's pretty spacious. Uh, it's got jets, uh, and what's nice about it is during the. Um, summer right now I turn it down to about 84 degrees uh, like a lukewarm swimming pool and it's refreshing if it gets too hot when it gets in the hundreds or whatever it doesn't get to the hundreds too often up here in Seattle but every once in a while it does and and we need a release so we come out here and then you know when it gets cold you know we turn it up and be out here in the backyard but the nicest thing What's really fun to do is when it's uh, snowing, uh, when it snows up here, and I turn this baby up to 102, 102 degrees, and me and my significant other comes out here at, I don't know, four or five in the morning, right when the sun is cresting over the, or, or when the sun is uh, starting to rise and, the, and it's uh, dawn, and we take the cover off and the st it's all steamy and we turn the bubbles on and the jets. It's a very romantic, very romantic experience. Personally, uh, if I wanted a pool ever in life, this is, this is what it would be. If you want a pool, this is what I would, this is what I would get as a, uh, a lazy spa. Anyways, I planted these trees about two years ago this is uh, my Jeffers red I believe this is what this is it doesn't look quite red right now but you can see the other one that matches it is still kind of red uh, <clears throat> if you know what this tree is I forget what this one is called uh, but it's definitely a maple I believe uh, they're growing I planted all these at the same time and uh, they've established themselves pretty good. The two down there, uh, the one at the very bottom struggles a little bit I think, 
but I think it'll establish itself eventually. The problem is I think it gets too much water during the rainy season and my yard is a little bit sloped and I think it just stays a little bit too wet down there for that tree. But once she's established and gets her roots real deep, I think she'll be okay. This one's doing better because it's further up. This right here is my uh, Japanese maple. When these babies get big, it's gonna be beautiful. They have blood red trunks, especially during the fall, and all this to turn yellow and red. Beautiful, I mean, these are, look at those. I mean, look at those right there. This whole tree is gonna be red like that. And it would be beautiful, beautiful. Anyways, this season, here in Washington State, I got my tomatoes. I got one tomato plant that seems to be doing fine. And this other one, I don't know what's wrong with it. It just started wilting. I, maybe I got uh, some root rot. You know, I may have to uh, take it out of the bucket, put some new soil in, and uh, see if it just got root rot or something. But uh, maybe I'll throw some antifungal uh, stuff on top of that one top it off with that and see if that uh, fixes it but yeah the other one's doing just fine these are just uh, Sonoma grape tomatoes and then I've my first year growing corn out of buckets or growing corn period and uh, they're doing great I have a five gallon bucket so and I from what I hear once this hair starts growing, this is where the corn stalk is gonna, this is where the, this is where my corn is gonna come out of. I'm gonna get a corn thing out of that. So, pretty sweet. Uh, this is my eggplants. It looks like I got a couple eggplants coming right there. Yep. And I got my scorpion pepper, Trinidad scorpion. Uh, these are boot jalokias. And I'm waiting for those peppers to, to fruit. And I got my strawberries. They haven't quite fruited yet, but uh, they're coming. I mean, you can see them growing. Uh, keep my chemistry right. And this is mint. Mint. You can just eat this right off the plant. And it tastes like, to me, it tastes like Wrigley's Spearmint. I mean, this literally tastes like Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. Now, these are my, this pot right here is my crown jewel. These are my Densuke Black Watermelons. Supposedly in Japan, these, goes, these go anywhere from 800 bucks to up to even 8,000 to 10,000 US dollars a piece, just for one. So I gave my uncle a few seeds after we ordered them and uh, they're actually growing. I wanted to see if we could grow them here. And uh, evidently you can. They're, they're, they're growing. I don't have any, I don't see any fruits yet coming from them, but uh, I've gotta be close. They've gotta be close to doing it because they're starting to vine. But well, those are my crown jewels. I'll give you guys an update with that later uh, as they progress. Now, then I bought some other seeds of watermelons. I don't remember what those were, but I do know that I, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I bought some Amazon seeds and uh, they said that uh, these watermelons would be blue on the inside, blue or purple. And I was like, what? I was like, no way. So, yeah, they're not gonna come out blue. I ain't never heard that before. But these babies are, uh, these babies are uh, fruiting fast. As you can see, I got one right there. I got one coming in right there. And yeah, and I've got more. Ooh, ooh, nice. So we're gonna have some watermelons. 
You know, some of our own watermelons, man. Yeah, well, anyways. This is my patio. Got a little TV on my patio and my Nintendo with some old school games that many of you probably have forgotten about. I got Afterburner, Duck Hunt, Marlboro's, me, Spy Hunter. Unbeatable, but a great game. Life Force, yeah. Crown Jewel, Metroid. I could just turn this thing on and listen to the soundtrack and be satisfied without even playing the game. But one of the greatest boxing games of all time on any game system was Ring King. Especially when you combine Ring King with the NES advantage here. When you have when you have to recharge your energy between rounds, you just put this baby on turbo, hold those babies down, and you recharge almost a full power. Yeah, <laughs> you annoyed? I don't play that. Arch Rivals Basketball. It's one of the crappiest basketball games Nintendo ever made. TNC Surf Design. I think that's yeah, that's TNC Surf Design. Dope game, especially the surfing part. Ghosts and Goblins, <laughs> a tried and true classic. Uh, unbeatable though, unbeatable. I've seen some people uh, online making uh, videos of uh, them going through it, man. But I, 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 I don't know if that's real, man. I don't. That's got to be uh, someone going through uh, with AI or something like that. And <laughs> there's no way. Somebody's just doing one run on Ghosts and Goblins and beating that. There's just no way. Tag Team Wrestling. So this is a sweet uh, wrestling game. It's not the best, but it's one of the best. The fact that you can play two-player, you can do your tag team, and then the sounds that they make, pretty cool. A very good classic. The brothers and sisters know about this one. Double Dribble. And yes, I can go to the top of the court and very in the very upper right hand corner you can hit all day long blades of steel sweet game if you like hockey and you grew up in the in the 80s this game well done pro wrestling so this game this would be the this is the best wrestling game on Nintendo. Tag Team Wrestling was like the second best. Pro Wrestling is so sweet and when you pair this with this because you're pressing, if you put it on turbo, you hold down the buttons, you're pressing the buttons so fast, bro, you can just suplex somebody 20 times or 20 times in a row if you do your timing right. Or you could, I used to, I used to, uh, um, when I got my NES Advantage, I used to um, I used to uh, DDT my friends. Uh, I mean, just 10, 15 times in a row. I mean, they were already dead, and uh, I would still pick them up and suplex them or DDT them again. Uh, Mock Rider, that's eh, all right. It's 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 okay. It's another version of Afterburner. There's a Euro version and a uh, US version. I had to buy two of them because one of them is the US version, one's the Euro version. Commando. So, this also is a pretty sweet game. It was a great game back in its time, but without the NES Advantage, it sucked. It was impossible to even get, get to like the third level or even the second level. So, what you used to do, you had to press the slow button on the NES Advantage which pause it like a pause 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 it like it like uh it, it 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 kept pressing so when you press this button it like oscillates the pro the pause button so fast that it puts everything in slow motion and you can play the game in slow motion which which allows you to dodge all the bullets and everything coming at you you have to have this if you want to 
beat commando. RC Pro M. <laughs> Again, one of the best games ever on NES Advantage. This was, I think, probably, this is the second best racing game on Nintendo. Excite Bike. Well, now I'm conflicted. What else do I have in here? Ah, <laughs> okay. How would I rate these? Rad Racer Excite Bike RC Program. I'm gonna have to go with Rad Racer is number one. The soundtrack, the 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 racing, the patterns you have to remember. It just, man, I remember my, my fingers would just get so sore. My, my thumb would get so raw and sore. I'd have blisters on my thumb from pressing the buttons, man. Um, this would be number one. I'm gonna have to pick a sight bike as number two because you can make your own courses. And it's, uh, you could do two player and you, you, you know, the main thing on this, you can make your own courses uh, you got to worry about overheating and, and all the, and, and a bunch of other things like that. It's just this is so this was like moddable, so that's why it's number two. But RC Pro Round isn't a close third. I mean, it's I mean, really, I, I would say these were almost tied, but I, if I had to choose between the two, I'd pick Excite Bike, anyways. Yeah, that's all my games. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, little video of showing you guys uh, so any any subscribers to my channel how I live so uh, uh, one last thing this is my commercial bug zapper this baby's supposed to pull in this baby is rated to pull in mosquitoes and bugs from up to two miles away at night and the baby's bright at night and I like to, we like to sit on our patio sometimes and just listen and watch the super huge bugs that get attracted to it at night and the flashes, man. I mean, this baby is strong. It's commercial. So it, when sometimes you get a big, huge bug, it just, it's like lightning. It's like, fat. I mean, it like snaps it, man. Pretty sweet. Anyways, that's all for now. This is Raw still signing out. You gonna say sorry for crying on the trail? Are no. you gonna get back out there? No. Are you gonna get back out there? Maybe. <laughs> Stop being shy. They've already Just seen you. Stop. Just turn it off. Alrighty. All right. This is Girly Power Roar right here, and she's not roaring right now. She's acting more like a little kitty cat. Well, some of us have to be at work at four in the morning and All right. I'm tired All now. Right. So. All right. Anyways, peace out, guys.